Hi, welcome back to Vitalize. My name is Rebecca and today I want to have a think about another big question that perhaps you have been asking. Where is God in the midst of this pandemic? I wonder, what do you think? What would your response be? Where is God? Do you know, it can be so easy, can't it, to cry out, God, where are you? God, there is suffering going on all around us. God, we're seeing people die. God, we're hearing of people struggling with COVID. We're seeing people lose their jobs. We're not able to go to school. We've lost so much of our routine. God, where are you? But do you know, if we look right back to the book of Genesis, God is calling out to us, where are you? Because the answer to our question, where is God in the pandemic? God is right beside us. We see on the cross a picture of the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made, of the suffering that Jesus went through. Jesus knows what it is to experience human pain and suffering. And Jesus is standing right there next to us. God is with us through this pandemic. He is cheering us on. He is carrying us through. He is supporting us and upholding us as we journey through these challenging times. And I would love to share just a few thoughts on where I personally have seen God at work over these last few months. I think the first thing to say is that actually, we as Christians are God's hands and feet on this earth. We as Christians are a living example of where God is at work. I have heard of so many stories of churches setting up support groups, of churches setting up food banks, of churches picking up prescriptions, of churches delivering shopping, of churches being the practical help and support that people need during these times. An article that was written by The Guardian during the first lockdown said that over a quarter of people have attended an online service at some point during this lockdown period. It said that one in 20 people have turned to prayer as a source of support and that one in five of those people who have tuned into an online service have never set foot into a church service in person before. God is on the move. God is opening doors for people to access his truth through church services being streamed online. I wonder, where have you seen God at work over these last few days and weeks and months? Where have you seen Christians being the hands and feet of God? Where have you been the hands and feet of God? Do you know as Christians we are called to share the good news of Jesus with those around us, to share the good news that has transformed our lives. The good news of Jesus that means we won't not struggle, we won't not have times of suffering, but we can be assured that in those times of suffering we will have a friend who will never leave us, a friend who will never forsake us, a friend who is walking right beside us and carrying us and supporting us through those tough times, a friend that we can always turn to. Hope has a name and his name is Jesus. And I believe that through this coronavirus pandemic, whilst there has been pain and suffering experienced by so many people, there too has been the opportunity to witness to the glory of God, to see God moving in the midst of the pandemic to see God's people being his hands and feet on this earth and to see the hope of Jesus shared, the hope of Jesus that transforms lives even in the midst of suffering because hope has a name and his name is Jesus. So if you're still asking yourself that question, where is God in the pandemic? My encouragement to you would be to seek him out to come to him in prayer, to ask him to show you himself afresh, to ask him to move in your life, whatever it is that you are struggling with right now, to bring it before him and to ask him 
to move because God is standing right next to us, cheering us on and desperately waiting for us to come to him. Because hope has a name and his name is Jesus. And my prayer for each one of you today is that the God of hope would fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Thanks for joining and we look forward to seeing you again soon.